which is question number 56. Let's read the question, students. Two elements A and B reacts to form two compounds A3B4 and A2B3. If 0 0.08 mole of A3B4 weighs 18.56 gram and 0.2 mole of A2B3 weighs 32 gram, then the atomic weights of A and B respectively are. Student, first of all, for this question, I am assuming the atomic weight of A is equals to AU and of B is BU. So, here we are given that 0 0.08 mole of A3B4 weighs 18.56 gram. So, here I am writing 0 0.08 mole of A3B4 weighs 18.56 five six gram that means one mole of a3 b4 weighs 18.56 upon 0 0.08 so i can say that 3a since the atomic weight of a is au plus 4b is equals to 232 gram i have divided this now student here we are given that 0.2 mole of A2B3 weighs 32 gram. So it is very clear that 1 mole of A2B3 weighs 32 upon 0.2 gram. Or we can say that 2 into A plus 3 into B is equals to 160 gram. I have divided this. Now student assume this as 1, this as 2. On solving 1 and 2, we will be able to find out the value of A and B. Here, A will be 56U and B is equals to 16U. That means the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to the next question, students, which is question number 57. Let's read it. The total number of electrons in chromium atom with n plus l is equals to 3 is. Student, first of all, for this question, we have to write the electronic configuration of chromium. Here I am writing chromium, the atomic number is 14 and the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d5 and 4s1. Now we are given that the value of n plus l is 3. N represents the principal quantum number and L represents the azimuthal quantum number. So, here the value of N plus L is 1. For this, the value of N plus L is 2. For here, the N plus L value is 3. Here, the N plus L value is 3. Here, the N plus L value is 4. And for this, the N plus value is 5. Here, the N plus L value is 4. So, for these two, the N plus L value is 3. That means the total electrons for which the n plus l value is 3 is 8. That means the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to the next question, which is question number 58. Let's read it. The incorrect order of ionic radii is represented in. Student, the, the first order is correct. The size of H minus is more. We know that the size of anion is more than that of cation. Moving to next, S2 minus Cl minus Na plus. And we know that for isoelectronic species, as the atomic number increases, the ionic radii decreases. Student, this order is also the correct one. Moving to next, O, O minus, O2 minus. Student, this is an incorrect order. As the size of O2 minus will be more than that of O minus, which is more than that of O. Since we know that the size of anion will be more than that of the neutral atom. Moving to the last, Al positive, Al2 positive, Al3 positive. The student, this is the correct order. Since as the positive charge increases, the ionic radii decreases. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. In which of the following pairs of species, the hybridization of central atom is same, but the shape of the molecule is different. Let's start with XeF2. Here, there will be two bond pairs and three lone pairs. So, the shape is, the hybridization of xenon is sp3d and the shape is linear. Moving to next. CO2, 
the hybridization of carbon is sp and the shape is linear that means here the shape is same but the hybridization is different that means option number one is incorrect moving to next sf6 and xcf6 let's draw in case of sf6 there are five there are six bond pairs the hybridization of sulfur is sp3d2 and the shape is octahedral in case of xcf6 there will be one lone pair and six bond pairs the hybridization will be sp3d3 and the shape will be distorted octahedral student moving to the next that means option number two is also an incorrect option moving to the next compound clf3 and sf4 clf3 here cl has three bond pairs and two lone pairs the hybridization of chlorine will be sp3d and the shape will be bent t shape the shape of the molecule is bent t shape and moving to the next sf4 so there are four bond pairs and one lone pair student here the hybridization of sulfur is same as that of chlorine is in clf3 it is sp3d and the shape is c so that means option number three is the correct answer let's also see option number four so here it will be so2 in case of so2 there is one lone pair and two bond pairs the hybridization is sp2 and the shape is bent and the other molecule or the other ion given is no2 minus here nitrogen has one lone pair and there are two bond pairs so the hybridization is sp2 and the shape is bent that means in the last option that is so2 and no2 minus the shape and hybridization both are same so it is very clear that the correct answer is option number three moving to the next question which is question number 60 in no plus ion the lowest unoccupied orbital is student for this question we have to write the molecular orbital configuration of no plus so here i'm writing the number of electrons that is present in uh, that are present in no plus so in case of no plus 14 electrons are present so i'm writing the electronic configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then we have pi 2p x2 pi 2p y2 sigma 2p z2 and here we are end with 14 electrons that means the lowest unoccupied orbital will be either pi star 2p x or pi star 2p y that means the correct answer is option number three Moving to next question.